Hello, this is Robert with CGS. I'm here to show you our new product called AutoSign. AutoSign is a product that runs on top of AutoCAD, Civil 3D, and even BricsCAD. But it's not just signs. We can also do road markings, ghost islands, and I'm going to try to show you all of these features. To get started, I'm going to come up here to my ribbon, and I've got an AutoSign tab. First thing I want to do is I want to look at putting in some road markings. So I'm going to come over here to draw line markings. I'm going to select on this icon. And the longitudinal labels dialog box comes up. And so the first thing that I want to do is I want to put in a dashed line. So I'm going to put in a thick dashed line. Type is a highway and the variant I'm going to leave as type 1. I can adjust the parameters here. And I can also label it. I'm not going to do any labels right now. What I do want to do is I want to select my element, which is my alignment. So I'm going to select here. I'm going to select this alignment. I'm not going to worry about a start and end station. I want it to run the entire length. So I'm going to go OK. And there we can see I have a center line. Now I want to add some continuous lines in here and some stopping lines. So I'm going to come back to draw line markings. I'm going to change it to a thick or a thin continuous line. I'm going to leave the type and the variant as is. I'm going to come on down here and select my alignment once again. And this time I don't want it to go the entire length, so I'm going to pick its start and end station. So in here I'm going to pick the start station as here, and my end station will say right here. I'm going to go OK, and there we can see the line's been drawn. So let's finish this off and I'm going to do the other side. So I'm going to select my alignment. I'm going to pick my start point here and my end point here. I'm going to go OK. So there I have the lane markings. I also want to put in some edge lines here. So I'm going to go back in there once again, draw my line markings. And this time I'll use a thick continuous. I'm going to select my element. I'll go OK. I'm just going to press Enter, select this element, and go OK. I'm going to go the entire length here. Let's we'll select all four of these. And let's finish it off with this last one here. All right, so now that I got that, I want to put in some stopping lines here on this side and this side. So I'm going to come up here to draw cross markings, and I'm going to draw a stop line, and I can adjust the width. I'm just going to go OK here, and I want to start it at this end point here. I'm going to come on over here, and there's my stop line. I'm going to come back up again, do the same thing. This time I'm going to start on this end, and I'm going to go to here. So there you can see my two stop lines. Now I want to put a pedestrian crossing across here and across here. So we're going to come up here to draw cross markings. Instead of a stop line, I'm going to come in here to a crosswalk. Here I can control the length and the offset. I'm going to go OK. And it's going to have me pick three points. My first point is where I want to start it. My second point is the width of the crossing. And the third one is the length of it. And there it is. Now I'm not real happy with that. I didn't adjust it. So I want to change it. So I'm going to come up here to edit line marking and I'm going to select it. I'm going to change this to one foot and two foot. And I'm going to go OK. And now we can see the adjusted walk crosswalk. Let's go over and do the other side. Okay, it's already got the one and two. I'm going to pick my first point where I want to start it, the width, and then the length. And there's that crosswalk. So to finish it off, I want to throw on some arrows on the road, so some other types of markings. So we're going to go over here to other road markings. And I'm just going to throw on a couple arrows. So I'm just going to pick it. And I do want to change the rotation when I put it in here. So I'm going to go rotation, select the symbol, 
Let's go in here and pick a point, and now I can rotate it. Let's go over here to this side. I'm going to pick a point, and I'm going to rotate it. And I'll go ahead and get out of this dialog box. So all the road markings are almost done. But now I want to put in a ghost island here. So I've got a little island here, and so I want to make sure I put in a ghost island on the, this end here. So I'm going to go ghost island. It shows me the angle, the line width, the spacing, and the offset. So I'm going to change my line width to 0.5 and my spacing also to 0.5. We've got a couple options here, whether we want to select an object or pick points. So I'm going to pick a point, and I want to pick here and here. That's where I want to put the island. I'm going to press enter. I'm going to press enter again, and it comes up. And now I need to select the direction. So here I can go direction, select two points, or select an object. I'm going to just select two points. So the direction is from here to here. I can preview it. If I'm happy with that, I can just press enter, and there's the island. Let's do one on the other side, just show you the other feature. So let's go back up here to draw Ghost Island. This time I'm going to say one-way traffic. I'm going to pick points again, so here and here, and press enter, and press enter again. Now I'm going to select my direction. So I'm going to pick here, and I'm going to have it not go right down the, the center here, just so I can show you what happens. I'm going to put it off the side a little bit. So I'm going to pick there. I can do a preview. And here you can see that the break there is exactly where I picked the two point for my direction. I'm going to go ahead and accept that and press enter. And now I've drawn all my islands. So all the road markings I'm done, I'm happy with. So now I want to throw on some signs. So we need some uh, pedestrian crossing signs here. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go up to draw traffic sign. I'm going to click on it. And you've got different tables that you can use. First thing I want to do though is I want to select the alignment. So I'm going to select my alignment as Main Street, but I could use this icon and pick it from the screen. It's this alignment I want it based off of. So I'm going to go here to the insert and I'm going to select this pedestrian crossing. Down here at the bottom we can draw a fundament if we wanted to, or the base of the sign. And we can also give it a position number too. So if I want to click in here and say this is position number one. I'm going to go ahead and select this pedestrian crossing for this one. And go OK. Come over here and I want to put this pedestrian crossing right here. So it's going to place a sign, and now I'm going to put the schematic off to the side, or the detail of the sign. I'm going to pick. It asks me if I want to specify the angle. I don't. I'm going to press Enter. And then I'm going to rotate it as well, so I'm going to press Enter. And it automatically rotates for the direction of the traffic. And so there you can see my sign. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and put one on the other side. So we're going to go draw a sign again. The pedestrian again, I'm going to go OK. We're going to put it on this side. I'm going to drag my sign out here. I'm going to press Enter and press Enter again to have it rotate. On this side, I want to warn that there's also cyclists. So I want to add a sign to this. So what I'm going to do is come up here to Edit Traffic Sign. I'm going to select my sign. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another one. So I'm going to click on Add. And I'm going to add this bicycle sign. And I'm going to go OK. And I'm going to go OK. And there you can see I've added a sign right above the other one. So now we need to do the same thing down here. But I don't want to have to go through the whole thing again. I just want to copy them. So we can come up here. We can go Copy Traffic Signs. I'm going to select this one first. I'm going to select the alignment, and now I'm going to go pick the location where I'm going to put this sign. So I'm going to put it right here, and I'm going to drag it out. I'm going to come back up again, and I'm going to copy the other one. Copy traffic sign. This is the sign here. That's my alignment. I'm going to copy that one right down here. 
drag it out and now I've placed my signs and you also have the ability here to move a sign so if I want to go back up here move traffic sign I can select this sign select my alignment again and I might just want to move it down a little ways so let's say I'm going to move it right here and I'll drag it out and now I've moved that sign so now that I've put on all the signs I want to do what's called a gantry so I want to put a gantry through here so I'm going to come up here and I'm going to go draw gantry the alignment I'm going to use right now is first street here's the type and you can change your types of gantry so I'm just going to use this very first one I'm going to change the height though I don't want it 5 I'm going to set it at 20 and my A or my width is going to be 25 feet and this time I will draw the fundament okay so this is my base and I might make this base make it a little bigger here let's go a 2 by 2 by two by two and up here I can control the size of the gantry itself the frame I'm gonna leave it as is so I'm gonna go okay and it's actually asking me to pick a point now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna pick a point I'm just gonna move my mouse to the location I want then I'm gonna go R to rotate and press enter and now I'm gonna rotate it and as you can see here it held where I was before I'm going to pick. Now it's asking me to put the location of this gantry, and this is the schematic or the detail of it. So I'm going to pick a point. As you can see, a line being drawn back, let me know that's where the gantry is. And at the command line, it says select elements for new guide sign. And so what I'm going to do is I want to throw some signs on it. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to come back down here to my gantry and I'm going to place it right there and it's asking me is the guide sign facing the alignment direction I'm going to say yes it's asking me if I want to pick another one I'm going to pick the exact same sign again and this is just one I created just an AutoCAD block I come back down here again I'm going to pick this one this time I'm going to say no it's not facing the alignment and I'm going to press enter to end it so I've done all my signs now I'm gonna finish this thing off and there's a couple things I want to show so one of them is I want to do a uh, table or a report of the traffic sign so I'm gonna click on here say Tra traffic sign report I'm gonna say all the traffic signs and the table style I'm gonna use I'm just gonna go okay here come off to the side and pick a point and here's drawn my traffic signs Okay, now that I have my sign table or report on there, I want to actually add one for the markings. But before I add the markings, I want to add some labels. So I'm going to come back up to the ribbon. I'm going to go to Label Markings. The command line says Select Element, or I can go G for Group, which I'm going to. I'm just going to window some of these markings. I'm going to press Enter. It's asked me for a reference point, so I'm going to just pick a point, and then it says distance and angle so I'm gonna have my labels come off at like this angle and that distance and there you can see my labels are on there so now that I have the labels I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna go to markings report I'm gonna do all the markings I'm gonna go OK and then I'm gonna pick a point and if I zoom in here now we can see the ones with the number the ones that I selected so there's my ghost island my crosswalk ones that don't have a number I didn't select them last thing I want to do is I want to see this in 3D and to do this we're gonna come up here to say draw 3D signs and markings I'm gonna drape them onto the corridor surface that I have and I'm gonna say project traffic signs I want all the traffic signs and the road markings I want all the road markings so I'm going to go OK here. Now I'm going to change my view. So I'm in a 3D view. And we're going to change this to realistic. 
But now I'm just gonna zoom in here. And we'll do a little orbit. And there you can see this sign is showing in this direction of the traffic and that sign is showing in this direction of the traffic. If I want to here, I'm just gonna go render. I'll escape there, I'm gonna type in render. It's gonna do a quick render for me. And there we can see all the line markings and the traffic sign. Let's go over the intersection area. Let's do this area right in here. I'm going to type in render. And there you can see the traffic signs, the islands, the crosswalks. I'll exit out of that. And this concludes this short video on AutoSign.